Distinguished business leaders, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the 2023 PASA International Payments Conference in Johannesburg, South Africa. My name is Violue Tutubese and I have the astute pleasure over the next two days to serve as your Master of Ceremonies as we chase new horizons together, transforming the payments ecosystem through pertinent local and global conversations. Now, over the next two days, we have the context of these critical as well as these consequential conversations that will be guided under two themes. The very first being day one, that is today, is centered around big bets, key trends, as well as inflection points within the payments ecosystem. And the second, under the day two umbrella, focuses on designing with the end in mind. It would be amiss of me to not mention that the bedrock of these discussions and the themes are centered around the strategy and the topics for the national payment system and supports the South African Reserve Bank's 2025 vision policy paper as well as the PASA payments plan. Throughout the course of the next two days, the conversations, the presentations, and the keynote addresses will be taking place across three rooms. The very first is the plenary room, which is the main stage and the very room that we currently find ourselves in. The next two rooms are the Electrum as well as the Pepsi room. And these rooms you can find behind the main stage if you walk past the hospitality area that is where those rooms are respectively located. And speaking of rooms, we also have two areas that are dedicated smoking areas. The first being on the outside balcony on level four, and the second being on the outside balcony of level two if you take the elevators. Now, we also encourage you to participate with the day's panel discussions, the day's conversations with a QR code that should be appearing on screen momentarily where you are able to take a picture of it and download so that you're able to insert whatever questions that you may have during the Q&A sessions of the panel discussions that will be taking place and of course, should time be permitted. And to my speakers, I would love to implore to you that you kindly stick to the time that you have been given to provide your addresses, your panel discussions. And should you see me on those stairs, do not be afraid to make eye contact because that is an indication that, of course, you should start wrapping up. And now for a much more delightful component of this introduction, the official PIPC app is available for download on Google Play, Apple Store, as well as the Huawei app gallery for you to be able to access all event uh, information, as well as the social feeds, the program, the speaker bios, and much, much more. You'll also find and have access to it on level four at the registration uh, table should you have any trouble. Now, the official hashtag uh, for today and tomorrow is hashtag PIPC2023. That's hashtag PIPC2023. And we do encourage you to engage with us across our social media platforms and, of course, to recap the day's events. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to officially kickstart our day and proceed into the welcoming as well as the opening address, please welcome the CEO of the Payments Association of South Africa, Gita Erling. It gives me, it gives me the greatest of pleasure to be able to welcome all of you this morning and to formally open our PIPSI conference for 2023. Let me first start with some welcomes. So to our colleagues from the IMF, the Saab and the Fisker, 
Our counterparts from similar organizations to PASA, many of whom have traveled across the world to be with us. Sponsors, exhibitors, without whom this actually wouldn't be possible. All of those who, of you who have kindly given of your time and your expertise to act as speakers today. Colleagues from PASA, from PASA Council, and also the PIPSI Advisory Committee. And to all of you, all of our delegates who will be spending the next two days with us, a hearty welcome. It's wonderful to see you here, and I hope you are going to take as much pleasure out of this conference as we had in organizing it. I was reflecting this morning on the way in here that we find ourselves in an increasingly polarized and very terribly, sadly, worn torn world, even compared to where we were 48 hours ago. And what a privilege it is that as a community of payments practitioners, South African and much broader global, that we have the opportunity to come together for a conference like this one in the interests of doing good for our various economies. This marks the 10th year since the first PIPSI that was held, and it is the fifth PIPSI. As a number of you have pointed out to me um, this morning, it's been a long time since the last in-person PIPSI in 2018, and how much has actually changed in that period, both globally but for us as a community. And I just want to spend a moment or two reflecting on that, because I think as a community, we've come a tremendous distance in charting out the future that we want for ourselves and how we want to manage our national payment system and how we collectively and collaboratively do that together. It's been a very, I guess, traumatic and exciting five years, but absolutely fantastic to once again be together. PIPSI gives us a unique opportunity to hear from others and other jurisdictions and to learn as we chart this road forward. Maybe just a few of our statistics. So we're at the capacity 600 delegates um, and a bit of a waiting list. We have 49 speakers, of whom about a quarter are international, and probably a similar amount come from adjacent areas to payments, so aren't necessarily directly in the day-to-day -day of payments. We have 21 sponsors and exhibitors, and again, a huge thank you to all of you. While I am saying thank yous, I would like to acknowledge the team that put this together. It is definitely not a small undertaking, and it is something that runs over a year. And for those of you who've had the privilege of engaging with the team, I think they've done a fantastic job in getting us to this point. We, we have tried to bring you something that's a little bit different with some fresh perspectives. So please engage, share your thoughts, our social media platforms are all running, hashtag PIPSI2023. Um, and enjoy the next two days, and please give us feedback, engage, and enjoy it as much as we did, putting it together. Thank you, everybody.